Hi Cheryl, how are you? Good morning my lord. That's it. And what have we got here? We've got some Viking gear, we've got some princess gear, we have some cloaks and some kitties cloaks. Talk me through a few things you've got here on the table. I've got some Viking cups, I have a traveller's hood ready for the inclement weather, we have some faux sheepskins, we have actual linen thread which is authentic, some valet trays which have been made from python and pigskin, leather book, another traveller's hood and then some supplies for the do-it-yourselfer, the crafter. And have you made all these things yourself? These are all handmade by me and I do have an apprentice who does the hard things for me. Show me a couple of your outstanding pieces that you would like to feature. Well actually this is one of them and I was just about to hang that up. I have done this edge by lighting a match and running it along the edge of the fabric to burn the fibres so that they stop fraying and then as I've sewn it on I've hand herring boned it to the shirt. So this is a Viking shirt that, is that I'm for a male or a female? Well, essentially for a man. Right. Mm. Men wear this tunic style Viking shirt. Okay, and what other pieces do you have here? Probably like the other showcase? thing that I would feature are my storm cloaks, which are a Game of Thrones inspired uh, style cloak with the leather straps that go across the chest, mostly for men, but ladies wear this too. And in the TV series, the Stark family all wear that style of cloak. Now I noticed some battle mantles here. What, what's actually the battle mantle? Shall yes, I? that's uh, something that keeps you warm, keeps the kidneys and the lungs warm, and then usually fur-lined like this one, and leather on the outside so that it handles the weather and keeps the wearer warm. But this one, we put the fur on the outside and basically that goes underneath our traveller's hood over there, the black suede, and the, the black suede hood sits over the top of the collarless fur mantle. Then you've got a leather one as a bit more battle-weary look and travelling look. So I've gone for several themes. Then I've got these lovely little hats. hats. Yes. Yeah. Um, we've got pure wool, pigskin suede, uh, some have the herringbone done by hand again, which is a beautiful little feature. Some of these fur, faux furs look absolutely beautiful. That one, for example, looks like silver fox. This one is just beautiful, looks like fin raccoon. And there's one, for example, that is the black wool with the fin raccoon and the herringbone. That's really beautiful. Now, I noticed an outstanding piece over here, this vivid purple piece. Yeah. yeah, let me just say that that's more of a princess gown. That's right. what I'm calling my duchess gown and it's got an oversized hood, a pretty front. It's a coat dress, a frock, frock dress with flared sleeves so it catches the breeze and the wearer would just, the dress would billow out behind her and look amazing. It sounds like the rumbling of a battle cart in the background there. I, I think you'll find it's the, the cart where you bring out your dead. Troops are coming. <laughs> and anything else here that uh, you'd like to showcase? Anything more? Well, just uh, some beautiful fabrics right, yes. and also got some genuine surf wear, as in S E R F, uh, where we've got genuine moth holes in wool, as well as alongside the beautiful things. So, just saying from the sublime to the ridiculous.